Hello everybody, this is Pun, and I have a new tutorial for you. For those people who've been wanting to get rounded edges and different shapes for their webcam, this is a great tutorial for you as I'm gonna show you how to use masks. Now I have not done one of these before because well, frankly, I really don't have the expertise to make my own mask. But fortunately, Nerd or Die has just released a free pack of masks that you can use for your webcam. So first of all, I'm gonna show you where you can go get those, how to get them, and then we'll show you how you can use them inside of OBS to shape your webcam. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Today's video is brought to you by ExpressVPN, the number one VPN provider in the world that gives you 100% privacy on your internet. Enjoy blazing fast speeds, DDoS protection, and unrestricted access for the ultimate gaming experience. You can get a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee. It is easy to set up. Simply sign up for ExpressVPN, connect to the VPN servers in one of the 160 global locations to reduce ping and lag while gaming online, and play your games with ultra-fast speeds the best in class security, and no geographical restrictions. It allows you to go incognito, unlike the incognito tabs in your browser, where you can surf and access content that you wanna see without everybody else knowing about it. So check out ExpressVPN, link is in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to nerderdie.com. When you go there, you're gonna to wanna to look for the free webcam mask. You click on that, add it to the cart. It's a suggested price of $2, but you can get it for free by typing in zero. Donate though, if you really appreciate what they're doing. Anyway, add it to cart, then you're gonna place it where you may need to make an account for this, but if you already have an account, then it's super easy. And then the next thing you wanna do is once you download it, you're gonna to wanna to unzip the file to a folder. Now I have a specific folder for my own Frugal Streamer assets, and I have a Nerd or Die folder with all the assets that I use from them. So I zip all those to that file, and then once I do that, then they are free and available to use super easy to get in and again thank you nerd or die for coming out for with something so so nice and for free okay so the next thing i want to do is go ahead and get obs open uh now i'm using prism live studio for this tutorial but any version of obs works the same way with filters so once you get obs open you're going to want to go to your source that you're going to use in event here we're using a webcam get that open and open your filters for that source and then what you can then do is you go and add the filter, hit the plus sign, go in and choose image mask. And then you can rename this if you want, or you can leave it the same. I happen to rename it for this tutorial, but whatever you do, just click okay once you're done. And then that properties for the filter will come open. And one thing, you're, it's going to default to white. You're going to want to leave that white because that's the area that you want the webcam to be inside of. Black will be what is masked. But then you're going to select your, your source, go to your browse, find your folder where you unzipped the webcam mask to, and then select the webcam mask that you want to use. Now, the great thing about Nerd or Die is they come with a ton of portrait and landscape web masks of different uh, sizes, different shapes, and even some that have a gradient effect to them. But choose one, and then when you choose it and you hit OK and you close it, then the mask will be applied and you will see what happens to your webcam here. So this is a 16 by 9 landscape that I've done. Here I'm going to do a vertical one. Here I'm going to go and choose some vertical ones here. Uh, again, you have a ton of options for vertical layouts and vertical webcams now are a hot thing. A lot of people are using these including some of the top streamers right now. So it's that simple to use these masks and then add them into, you know, into your scene here. Of course, I'm using a nested scene. So when I change the scene, any of the other scenes I have that have this nested scene in, it'll automatically change. As you can see, that one was a nice little gradient effect that I had on the webcam. Here I'm looking for this nice little texture that's going to add these like folded looking corners, which is really cool. I like that effect a lot. Uh, that's probably my favorite one out of all of these. And it's just a really neat thing to do. So go out there and give it a shot. This is a free option. That's why I love Nerd or Die so much. 
because they provide inexpensive and free tools to make your live stream look more professional. And this is a great way to add a little bit of a professional touch to your webcam. So again, thank you Nerd or Die for that. That's awesome, I appreciate it. I'm going to be using these because like I said, I'm terrible with Photoshop and with After Effects and making these masks. Nerd Dye's just done it for us. They've pretty much given you every kind of mask that you would ever want to use. So anyway, go out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a shot. Let me know how you used it. Comment below. I'll provide a link below where you can download these. This is an affiliate link. Nerd Dye did not sponsor this video. I'm just doing it because I think it's just a great thing that they do. And everybody should be using these because it just really gives your live stream a professional look for free. So other than that, guys, I appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you later.